The 1982 Milwaukee Brewers, also known as Harvey's Wallbangers, was an extremely powerful team offensively. That offense helped Milwaukee make their first World Series appearance ever, but ultimately the Brewers lost the series in seven games to the St. Louis Cardinals. After that season, and as time went on, Milwaukee was never able to make it back to the playoffs, but the Brewers had one more magical and surprising run in them. 90 Sports Assault presents the unique 1992 Milwaukee Brewers, the last hurrah for Paul Molitor and Robin Yount. For the 1992 MLB season, this was still during the divisional era where only two teams from each league would go to the postseason. Toronto was so good in the early 90s and was the team Milwaukee would have to compete with. The Blue Jays got off to a quick start and found themselves on top of the AL East. Meanwhile, the Brewers they didn't start off as strong. At the end of May, Milwaukee was a game under 500 and in 5th place. But from July 18 to August 8, the Brewers had 3 4-game winning streaks and found themselves 10 games over 500 at 59 and 49, but 5 and a half games behind the 1st place Jays. One thing that helped Milwaukee was having a young Cal Eldred join the starting rotation mid-July and he was awesome. But what I remember most about this Brewers team was the month of September they had. During this September, Milwaukee, they went 20 and 7. Cal Eldred continued his strong pitching and was named the Pitcher of the Month and Robin Yount picked up his 3,000th hit during the month of September. Milwaukee then won the first two games in October and found themselves two games behind Toronto with two games left to play. Could Paul Molitor and Robin Yount make it back to the postseason? At this time I wasn't aware of the Blue Jays collapse of 1987, but in 1992 perhaps I was going to experience seeing a team collapse and lose a division for the first time. Instead Milwaukee lost their last two games while Toronto won their last two games. Thus, Toronto won the AL East and went on to win the World Series. The 1992 Milwaukee Brewers, they were a unique team. Brewers shortstop Pat Listash was the AL Rookie of the Year. What I remember Listash for was his ability to steal bases as he stole 54 bases as a rookie in 1992. But what surprised me with this Brewers team is how much manager Phil Garner had his players run as Milwaukee stole 256 bases as a team which is the 5th most ever for a team since World War II. 11 Brewers had at least 10 stolen bases which is just incredible. Perhaps the running game helped Milwaukee be 5th in the AL in runs scored as their team only had 2 players reach double digits in home runs. But the other thing that surprised me was that Milwaukee led the majors in run differential this season which was helped by Milwaukee having the best team ERA in the AL. I would have never guessed that Milwaukee would lead the majors and run differential this season with strong teams like Toronto and Oakland who on paper I think many would say had better rosters. But unfortunately, Milwaukee had the 5th best record in the majors in 1992 as there weren't enough playoff spots at the time for the Brew Crew. After the season, Paul Molitor left Milwaukee and signed with the Blue Jays where Toronto won the World Series again in 1993. Robin Yount, he played one more season, as his last season was in 1993, then retired playing his entire 20-year MLB career with Milwaukee. After the 92 season, the Brewers, they wanted to have another winning season again until 2007. Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports Nostalgia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out the links below for Patreon and merch. Thank you so much. The 1992 Milwaukee Brewers, the last hurrah for Paul Molitor and Robin Yount.